What are you going to cook in lockdown, Das? Do a lockdown specialty? What I do more than anything is barbecue. Oh, really? Yeah, I love, I'm addicted to barbecuing. I love it. Well, do that's you, true. There's barbecue in this barbecue or just Tim barbecue? No, I barbecue. Oh, Tim used to do... <laughs> Tim did used to do the barbecuing. That's when he used to make things for me. <laughs> Now he just gives me a score out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> but I do think that I can cook a better steak than him. Yeah, I'm putting Your it out there. content coming up. <laughs> yeah, that's Man, a challenge. I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. Cook out. Yeah. Tim versus Marion. Yeah. It'd be like a street fighter rapper. Yeah. Versus. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. <laughs> coming soon. I mean, is there anything better than a sweet, sticky, like melt in your mouth pork belly situation? Oh, and I'm throwing down some charred pineapple here too, my friends. This is my version of pineapple pork adobo. All right, guys, so I reckon the secret to a really good adobo is this marinating that happens at the very beginning. This is where we get all the flavor into the pork. So let's get started on that first of all. Um, I'm gonna start with some brown sugar some apple cider vinegar. The vinegar part's really important here. I think it's the vinegar that really gives you that adobo kind of vibe. It's the, the tanginess that you want. So it doesn't have to be apple cider vinegar. It can just be a white vinegar um, or experiment with a few different ones. Uh, but I'm using apple cider and then I've also got some soy sauce. And I've got some garlic here quite a bit, but I only wanna put half in here first and save the other half for later. Now I want some ginger here as well. Pinch of black pepper. Now you just wanna give that a whisk. And now for the pork itself. So you want a pork belly here cause you kind of get that like soft, sticky, you know, melt in your mouth, tender thing going on. So I've got the skin off on this one. It's definitely not a skin on kind of thing because the skin doesn't crisp up or anything um, and I want everything nice and soft and tender. Now keep your pieces fairly chunky here because as the pork simmers, it kind of shrinks a little um, as that fat renders out into the sauce. So start off a little bigger than you think. Now the pork goes into your marinade. Let's give that a really good mix. And you wanna let that pork kind of luxuriate in there for at least 30 minutes, because I want some of that flavor getting right in there. So in the meantime, let's prep the rest of our things. So we need some onion. And some chili as well. So it's not supposed to be a really spicy dish, so I'm just using like a mild red chili here, mainly for a little bit more like kind of color popping at the end. So once your pork has had its time, uh, now I wanna sear it off first before we get into the slow braising. So a little bit of oil is what you need. And when that's nice and hot, just kind of shake out your pork pieces and get those in there. So depending on how uh, large your pan is, you might need to do this in batches. The whole point is that what we wanna do is get some really lovely, deep, dark color on each little piece. Um, that color is what's gonna give us the beautiful flavor. I want quite a bit of that happening in the pan here. So if I turn this over, you can see we've got a really lovely, almost like kind of like a char on the edges there. That's just perfect. Okay, so while we're waiting for the pork, um, this is a good chance to ask all of my Filipino friends on here, on this channel, what would you like me to cook? Is there a cool dish that I, you know, maybe don't know about that you would love to see on my channel? I would love to hear about it. Ooh, if anyone has any recipes, even better. <laughs> I love it when I get, you know, actual recipes from people to try. It's always good fun. So make sure you keep that marinade once you've taken the pork out. We do need that later, don't throw that away. Okay, now see all this stuff going on in this pan? This is like flavor gold. We definitely wanna be using all of that. I'm gonna get my onions straight in there. So I've, I've got quite a bit of fat 
that's come out from the pork, um, plus that little bit of oil I put in earlier. So I'm not gonna add any more oil, but if you do think it's look, uh, looking a little dry, you could add like just a little bit more oil, but I think that's pretty good for me. I'm gonna throw my onions straight in. Now always when I'm cooking onions, I like to add a little bit of salt. Sort of helps to draw the moisture out and then everything kind of sweetens up a little quicker. So give those onions a few minutes in there. You can see that beautiful color that we're getting already, which is amazing. Just want them a little bit softer. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my chilies and the rest of that garlic. So when you can see your onions looking a little softer, a little more translucent than when you first started, now you can get the pork back in. And now that marinade. We wanna add some bay leaves here as well. I think this is the other like real key to this dish is you get this really beautiful bay leaf kind of flavor coming through at the end. I think it's one of the essentials for me. And you also need a little bit of water here too. Just give that a good mix. All right, now that's all the hard work done pretty much. Uh, I just wanna wait for this to come up to a little simmer. Uh, then I'm gonna put the lid on and I want that to gently simmer. So turn the heat down to low and let that cook away for about 90 minutes. Okay, so while our pork is doing its thing, let's take care of that kind of like charry pineapple situation, which I don't think is very traditional, <laughs> but I think it really adds something extra. I like the extra flavor. You want a fresh pineapple here. Canned pineapple is not gonna get you that charry business. So once you've got most of that sort of outer skin off, then you just wanna go in and just sort of cut those little um, eyes. Eyes, are they called eyes? Are they eyes? Have we had this conversation before? <laughs> I think they're called eyes. Anyway, these little like, these little brown, brown bits. You just wanna get in there and cut them out. So now that we have our lovely prepared piece of pineapple here, you just want some sort of thick-ish slices. Now into a hot pan, I'm gonna pour a little bit of oil. Okay, so the idea here is that we want really lovely color on the edges of our pineapple here. Pineapple is such a happy fruit, don't you think? It's kind of like, you know, holidays, cocktails, sunshine. I think so anyway. <laughs> Alright, so this pineapple is currently starting to look like I want it to. If you just turn that piece over, ah yeah, see that really lovely kind of dark brown edge, that's exactly what I want. I really just love that flavour, it kind of gives the pineapple like so, many, so much more of a dimension of the flavour. Slightly bitter, you know, not as kind of like candy sweet, it's really, it's really cool. All right, let's come back and have a look at our pork. It is certainly smelling divine. All right, now everything in here is looking kind of glossy and really delish, but I want to reduce the sauce down a little bit more so we really get that like kind of sticky thing happening. So I'm gonna leave the lid off and I want that to simmer away for another 15 minutes. Okay, now let's come back and have a look in here because we're currently looking really luxe in here. What I do wanna do is, see there's like this just really thin layer of, of fat and oil just on the top. I mean, you know, that stuff's kind of good but you don't want too much of it. So I'm just gonna like scoop off just bits, just the bits that I can see around these edges here. Okay, now what I like to do here is just kind of layer things up a little bit. So I get a piece of my pineapple and a little scoop of pork and just kind of layer everything up around the plate. Now make sure you get plenty of that like amazingly luxurious sauce all over the top. I mean that's just like heaven. 
final little sprinkling of spring onion here and we are good to go my friends look at that that is i guess not a traditional uh, adobo but i think this is going to be a beautiful winner let's get in here and have a look i'm looking forward to this one mm. Mm -hmm. That is so delightful. I mean, the pork just literally melts. It's so good. And that sauce is tangy, sweet. And you've got that beautiful bay leaf flavor coming through, which is really cool. Mm, I love that. I love the pineapple too. Mm -hmm. It just gives you that really like uplifting kind of tanginess. Mm. really good if you've got any comments or questions pop them below and if you enjoyed the video why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one and that way you'll get notified every time i release a new video thanks guys